Before we get into the video, make sure to join my Discord. I'm planning a car meet, so if you want to get into it, make sure to join the Discord. Drive World has just updated, so let's check it out. To start off, the most notable change is the dealership. They completely renovated it. This looks way better. You can get on top of it, and there's a ramp as well. And on the dealership, they actually show your races, miles driven, and your playtime. There's also one for spent, but this one doesn't seem to be ready yet or something. Going into the dealership, you can actually see there's some cars shown. And the leaderboards are also in here. Going into the shop, you can actually see there's three new cars in here. One is the insect. And here it is when you first buy it. The score when you first get it is 115 and horsepower 79. So this car is actually pretty low. The next car is the Malice. And when you first buy this car, it has a score of 266 and a horsepower of 270. And finally, for the last car in the shop, we have the Stallion M, which is has a score of 331 and a horsepower of 374. And now looking at the weekly quests, we actually have a brand new car called the Rat Rod. And it seems to be the same challenges as last. And for the biggest change of this entire update, the most requested thing in the entire game is being able to sell cars. So you can finally get your car sold. And here is the confirmation screen. And you can see the value of the car and how much it'll sell for. So each car sells for 30% of the value. So let's upgrade this one and see how good it is. And in the accessories tab, they actually edited the UI so it looks a little different. Looking at this thing max without a V12, it can get a score of 618 and a horsepower of 691. And for the top speed, it can get around 200 miles per hour. It can get a little bit above that as well. And here we are with the Malice. At a max without V12, it can get around 471 score and a horsepower of 496. This car is definitely more of a show car. As you can see, it struggles to get close to 200 miles per hour. And looking at these cars, they seem to not have too many new things added, but let's check out the Insect. For this car, it actually sounds good stock, but it's basically useless unless you put a V12 in it. Once you max it fully out, it gets a score of 1430 and a horsepower of 1276. And now let's look at the customizations. And there is a ton on this car.
And there we go, there's all the customization for the insect. This is definitely the most customizable car in the game. When this car has a V12 in it, it can get a pretty good amount of speed at around 250 miles per hour. Also, looking in the shop, you can actually see each car shows that how fast it can go. Another thing, when going into the GPS system, it actually shows how much money each race will give you. And there we go, we have finished all the quests, but before this, let's actually finish my streak. There we go, 26 million. And now let's collect the rat rod. And here it is. When you first get it, it has a score of 514 and a horsepower of 434, with a max speed of 200 miles per hour. Maxing this out, it can get 1,541, but I don't put the race tires on this. And here are the customizations for it. So it seems like all the upgrades on this are basically the same as the beetle or the insect. And when it's maxed, it seems to get around 300 miles per hour. And now I want to do some rapid fire changes that they added to the game. First off, they added a new code, which was fave for money. Second off, going into rims, they added a fo clover four, which is probably only going to be here for St. Patrick's Day. So make sure to get this before it's gone. The leaderboard now shows the most miles instead of the most cash. Heading over to the Atlas Bay building, they actually added a ramp that goes all the way up to the top of the building. Making it up to the top though only shows a ramp, which can help you jump from this building to another building. As you can see, they added a new paint which looks like rust. And if you look at the top of the screen, they also added 1,500 score races. 
They also changed the races so when you go to them, you'll spawn in a circle instead of in the middle. And for the last change I'll show you, they moved the ramps at the end of drag strip. Thanks for watching. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this update, and I'll see you next time.